All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash. The Barn of the Apostle knows the great millstone teaching us when we're saying truth according to the Bible and rule well in peace and blessings so hopefully like to the nation of Israel, take their spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, when we get into the Lord's willing edifying lesson on blowing the trumpet, you know, given you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans warning, you know, from the Heavenly Father, you know, we as his watchmen have a message, you know, from the Lord. You know, that message is what? Repent or be uh, destroyed at the end of the day. This is St. Luke chapter 2, verse 3. I tell ye nay, uh, verse 2, And Yahweh Shai answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell ye nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And that's what's coming. You know, a lot of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are going to perish, you know, when these evils, you know, begin to intensify down here upon the earth. You know, crime is at an all-time high. You know, uh, you know, uh, there's a lack of food. You know, gas prices, you know, uh, well, those are, you know, they can say they, they went down, right? <laughs> but they went up first, you know, and it robbed you know, a lot of you people. You know, a lot of you people ain't doing so well. You know, I watched this woman. She said everything's going up, but the check. So everything's increasing. You know, the Bible talks about what? Perilous times. It's uh, Joel, pestilence in diverse places, right? You got New York, polio's in the water. If you're watching, you know all these things. This is a Jeremiah 2, I mean, Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And what does the day of the Lord entail? That M O T to the B. You know, being implemented, you know, putting putting the systems in these last days, that, that beast uh, infrastructure for the MOTB, you know, the mark, you know, that M-A-R-K, which is the C-H-I-P, you know, uh, 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 that the infrastructure for the, the uh, his M-A-R-K, right, that'll come forth in these last days is being put into place. You know, in that hour, temptation is coming. And we're blowing the trumpet, warning you. You know, so that you may uh, fear the Lord and what the Lord is going to bring. It's the Heavenly Father's movie. This is what the Lord has purpose in His heart to happen in these last days. So let's prove that. This is Psalms <coughs> seventeen and fourteen, uh, seventeen verse thirteen. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. You see? So the wicked, which are the Edomites, are, is the Heavenly Father's uh, sword. <laughs> you see? He's part of the Heavenly Father's hand. Let this devil, Esau, even that's going to come down in these last days, you know, having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time, is because this is the purpose of the Heavenly Father. So at least you repent unto him and return to the Lord. You're going to be caught up in this destruction. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? That is the question. You know, clearly, you know, a trumpet being blown in the city, the people are going to get alarmed. You know, what, what is that? You know, you had over there in Hawaii, the, 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 the alarms for that nuclear missile was going off, and everyone was bugging out. You know, very afraid. How much more, 
you know, in these times, how much more when the words of Yahweh Bashima are coming out, giving you that warning. It says, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it. So the evils, you know, that are coming to this city, you know, Babylon the Great, it's the Lord's doing. You see, and that's what we're, that's the point we're making. The Heavenly Father is bringing these evils. <clears throat> to Israelites, so you have to repent, and this is what we're here to warn you about. We've been given the secrets. It says, verse 7, Surely the Lord God would do nothing, meaning before the Heavenly Father does anything, He revealeth His secret unto His servants, the prophets. The lion have roared, who would not fear? The Lord Yahweh have spoken, who can but prophesy? So the men of Yahweh by Shema Shai are revealing the secrets onto you. We're speaking on to you, you know, the words of prophecy, telling you the things that are going to happen before they happen, you know, and you people should be very afraid because evil and only evils is, is told to come. Real quick, this is a uh, Second Timothy's, <coughs> I believe Second Timothy's. <coughs> Second Timothy 3 and 1, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. You see, perilous mean danger, full of danger, full of risk. It's going to be a risk for you to step outside your doors. You see, <laughs> it's going to be a danger out there in the streets. Isaiah 45 and 5, I am the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, and there is none else. There is no God besides me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So, Lord, <laughs> he's the one bringing the evils. And who are the evils directed to? One might ask. This is uh, Jeremiah 11 and 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God. I'm sorry. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai. Behold, I will bring evils upon them. Upon who? Let's read verse 10. It says, really verse 9, it says, and the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquity of their fathers, for they refuse to hear my words. You see, because rebellion is as a sin. Uh, rebel means to make war. So our people have made war against the Heavenly Father by rebelling against Him. And they have went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenants, which I made with their fathers. Verse 11. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, behold, I will bring evil upon them. <laughs> so the evil is being brought upon you Israelites for your wickedness. You know, the wickedness that you're doing down here upon the earth, day in and day out. It says, which they have done, I'm sorry, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. You see, no mercy is going to come unto you if you don't repent. The doors of mercy are open now. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. And ye shall remain in them. For God shall not deliver you. Because ye have sinned against him. And this is what we're warning our people about. You know, if you don't want to get right. You don't want to turn back to Yahweh by Shema Shai. You're, you're going to remain in these plagues. The famine. You know, you're going to get tore up by the fam, the teeth of wild beasts, the concentration camps. You know, let's get that. Jeremiah 15. I got uh, one more scripture I want to bring out. 
Okay, kind of cue it up before I lose my train of thought. Jeremiah 15 and um, 1 and verse 2. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then shall thou say, Then shall thou tell them, Thus saith the Lord. Such are as for death to death. So some of our people are just going to die. <laughs> you know, in all uh, manner of ways. Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, is telling our people they have lived the lifestyle of death. That's what they're going to receive. And such are for the sword, for the sword, you see, the sword, you know, these these wars that's going to break out here in America and across the four corners of the earth. You're an Israelite and you're not covered under the shadow of the almighty, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, protected, believe you on that names. These weapons of war are going to get you. The gun, you know, all manner of killing instruments will be, uh, uh, will pursue you and overcome you and destroy you. And such as are for the famine to the famine. That's right. The, those shortages of basic necessities for you to survive. <laughs> Food. You see, water. You know? You know, juices, <laughs> to be real, anything that, uh, uh, you know, might fuel the body, you know, any type of liquid, you see, any type of food, you know, there's not going to be, uh, you know, candy bars laying around, anything, people are going to be eating, you know, packs of ketchup, if the Lord allow you to have that, a lot of people are going to be getting uh, cannibalism, <laughs> A lot of people are going to die by the sword, by the famine. It says, and such as for the captivity to the captivity, speaking of the concentration camps, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, the and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. So this is what's coming if you don't repent. Close out on this. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So that's what we're doing. We're crying aloud. We're sparing not. We're lifting up our voice as a trumpet. We are loudly, you know, clear, you know, making this propl proclamation of the Heavenly Father clear. You know, we're publishing the word of the Lord. Like I told you in Psalm 68, great was the uh, company of those that published it. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. It says... And show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. So that's what we're doing, you know, telling our people to repent, you know, to put down, you know, the shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, put down the weed, you know, stop committing adultery, which is sleeping with the next man's woman, you know, women, uh, you know, by sleeping with what? Another uh, man when they already have a man, you see? Shaving your beard, making baldness upon your head, getting tattoos. You see, these are things celebrating these uh, so-called holidays, your birthday. You know, you know, these are things that the Heavenly Father, feminism, these are things that the Heavenly Father, and yes, feminism, <laughs> literally. These are that Queen of Heaven spirit. These are things that Yahweh Shema Shah has told us, you know, uh, not to do. You know, for your Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent from, are you going to be destroyed in these coming evils, you know, that Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, it's his determination to bring them upon the world. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.